Hey everybody, this is Dave from AskUncleDave.com and today I'm going to show you how to build your very own live streaming app. Uh, now this is the an app that you can plug in a URL uh, to a live streaming. Like when you go on the internet, you see that sometimes they have these live streams uh, that play. And if you want to not have to go on your computer and and you know watch it on your computer you can actually put it on the Apple TV now the reason why I built this app is because I have a Tableau and a Tableau uses HTTP live streaming or HLS in order for it to record and serve it up to you in your home uh, quick and fast depending on your connection and the quality that you're looking for uh, the MU38 file that it saves it it streams it in different bit rates and things like that but don't get too crazy about it so basically you go in your program guide and this is my live uh, TV so if I wanted to scroll down to like say Fox and I wanted to watch the news uh, it will play over my local area network um, and play in my browser using the uh, HTTP live streaming uh, it's not an MP4. It's not you know anything like that. It's it's just a recording that's in a small f uh, form factor, and it allows you stream. Now another example is like Twitch, and Twitch uh, you can watch live streams, uh, but you have to visit the web page on the internet, and you got to use a browser like Safari that allows for these this type of streaming. Then you also have uh, music. So this is PLS. Uh, their playlist and you can put in a URL and listen to music that's live streaming over the uh, live transmission over the internet so today's app I'm going to show it to you now let me close this out and I'm going to show you that I'm going to build an app just to watch Fox uh, over my antenna that's on my roof uh, right to the tableau and it's going to go straight to my Apple TV, not through uh, a web browser or anything like that. So let me show you the app. Uh, you see it here down at the bottom here. And it's very simple to build. Uh, there's a GitHub page right of, over here. Um, I'll show it to you. There's a GitHub page, and uh, Kane2931 uh, has a, um, an Xcode app that he built. And... He gives you everything you need, and all you got to do is plug in a couple of things. Uh, there's some requirements, and we're going to go over that. And I'm, then I'm going to show you a sample build of how I built this uh, Fox app. Now, this is Fox Channel you know, uh, 25, I think it is where I live, uh, 25.1 uh, on a digital uh, over-the-air broadcast. And this is Fox, and it's coming straight from my Tableau that's hooked up in my basement over the Wi-Fi right onto the Apple TV no middleman no nothing straight to it um, so when I click it it just opens up the live stream coming straight from my tablet and it's great because now I'm gonna make one for each channel like CVS uh, CW NBC uh, ABC and all those uh, different ones I made my own little icon and uh, my own little description and everything like that. And it's so simple, you just press it, boom, right to channel players, five. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to build that. And you know, if you have a particular person you follow on Twitch or something like that, you can build their little app and be able to just click it and go straight to their live streams, okay? So uh, let's uh, tell you about this GitHub page. Uh, so this is the one channel. Uh, all you have to do basically is copy the uh, you copy the uh, image pack. Now the image pack are the icons uh, and backgrounds that you see on your Apple TV, like that fox, uh, you know, and the words and the blue background and the icon that's in there. Uh, and what he's done is he get, he gave us a download that we can download, and it has all the different sizes and and different things. So in other words, like if we were to open it up, this is his right here. And what I did was I just used his as a template and I made my own little uh, thing. So say, for instance, he gave me this one right there. And this is the equivalent to what I have. And I made my own uh, using an app 
like GIMP. So what I did was I uh, went in, and we'll get more into it. You'll understand a little bit more in a second. Now, uh, I have I downloaded from Google Images a picture of Tableau, uh, their logo, and I also downloaded uh, this right here. This is a just a picture of all the different uh, uh, broadcast channels, and I you know I cut this out. And uh, I use GIMP, and GIMP is a great app because you just could do anything with it. You you open it up the GIMP app, and w what you could do is you can just go in and have different tools in order to select different things. Rectangle, uh, fuzzy select, so you could just select all different things uh, and cut and paste them onto each other. Uh, you can use like fuzzy selector and um, you could transform the sizes and everything. You could use fuzzy selector to to select the text inside the text. So, if I was to do um, uh, image uh, or select invert, I can cut out different things uh, and leave just the background or whatever. Uh, but I'm not gonna get into that. That's gonna be a different video. If you want to learn how to make uh, icons for your Apple TV I can make a video about that to show you all the different things so uh, let's go back to this part right here and uh, I'll show you so uh, then there's a background like this and here's my background and I just basically copied the size of his background uh, so you know you make your own little icon you, you have to have a large icon and you have to have a small icon then you have to have a launch uh, that's the way I chose to make my launch look and that's pretty cool that he included uh, in the github page the um, the image pack so you can get your own little icon now on the github page when you go on to that uh, all you have to do is pretty much copy this here uh, this shortcut here and remember that uh, you know you can right mouse button and copy it and you go and grab that and you'll be able to use Xcode now to uh, do it now uh, the other thing is in in any of these links that you copy from live streaming sites you can use the inspector uh, like in Chrome and find the m3 u8 uh, file that they actually use to put on their website to give you live broadcast or uh, the PLS uh, you could find that and with Tableau, it's so easy to do if you own a Tableau like I do. Uh, basically, when you start to play the show, uh, I'll play the show right here. Actually, this is not up to date. But so I will play the show here. And you basically, in, in Safari, you can just right mouse button and copy the video address. And that will copy it onto a clipboard. And you'll have the link right to your live stream on your Tableau of Channel 5. So that's easy enough uh, with the Tableau. So people who own Tableau, this is going to be a great video for you. Uh, and also live streaming. So if you click on this, uh, you can start to watch the show uh, live and you can right mouse button and copy the video address. Uh, with the music, you can just copy the links to the different places that have live music and you copy that. And I'm going to show you what this all means in a minute because this to build this app is very quick and very easy to do. Uh, so let me show you now in Xcode. So let's close out my icons uh, that I build for my uh, app on the Apple TV. So you need VLC. You need the GitHub uh, uh, copy that uh, URL. And you also need the image pack. Uh, if you want to build your own icons. Um, so it's very easy to use. Uh, you need a developer account. You can get one free, not a problem. And you need Xcode, uh, and you need OS X, uh, obviously. Um, so you're going to need the Apple TV uh, fourth generation, and you got to make sure that you have, uh, you have your Apple TV hooked up to your uh, computer whether it's the you know old USB 
A and, and B or whatever to the USB-C that goes to the back of the Apple TV. You have it plugged in and it's showing up in iTunes uh, like this where you know you can actually restore your, your uh, Apple TV. So that's the setup. This is all the things we need. Now I'm going to show you something. Uh, if I go and copy a URL, let me show you that. If I copy a URL to, um, where is it? If I copy the URL, I guess I closed out my Tableau. So let me open up my Tableau again. Now Tableau works over the internet, uh, mytableautv.com, and it'll, it'll connect over your local area network. It remembers your um, sign-in and all that stuff. And you click here, and you go to Live TV, and we'll... Like I said, you use channel 25.1. And <clears throat> we'll run mouse button and we copy a video address. Okay? So we're going to close that out right there. And all you do is this. We're going to close out this. Let me cancel this. Uh, actually, if you just go and build the app, I'm going to show you how to build it from scratch. But uh, you go into view control uh, dot swift and you change the the URL that he has in here and put your own like I can put mine now so I'm gonna just copy and paste it's it's there already because I built this app already and, and that's so simple there then all you have to do is you have to go into you have to go in and click on assets and here is the assets that you need to change so here you see in mine uh, that I have my large uh, icon so here's my large icon and here's my large background and then I have a small icon and background here and then I have top shelf uh, that's the uh, top shelf of your Apple TV and then you also have launch uh, image so that's the launch image and like I said if you use the icon pack that he gives you you could just pretty much use GIMP or pixelator or something like that and you can make your own little icons okay then the other thing you have to do is you have to go into search here okay you got to type in name and then you, you got to click here and you go in and you search uh, your your app uh, so right here it's going to say something else it's going to say the one channel so you basically just click that and you change it to whatever you want to change it to this way on your Apple TV, uh, underneath the app, you see it says Tableau Fox. Uh, you're going to see that on your app. and So that's the only things you have to change. Basically have as this and have it on your Apple TV. These are devices that are connected to your, your uh, computer. And you just make sure it's on Apple TV and you hit build. And it's that simple. That's it. You hit build. It shows up on your Apple TV. You click it, it'll open up that URL that you changed, and you have an app built. Uh, it can't be any simpler than that. I know it's hard to, to, to imagine how hard, how easy it is. But So let's, let's go through the whole thing uh, right now, and I'll show you how to do everything from scratch. So let's quit everything out. Let's open up. Let's open up the, uh, let me close this. Now, like I said, you copy a link. If you want to test it in VLC, you go to advanced open file, you go to network and you type and you just right mouse button and paste that stream. Now this is my channel five, <clears throat> excuse me, from my Tableau. This is my channel five. So if I hit open, you're going to see, boom. Channel 5 live from my Tableau in my home right there on my uh, VLC app. And the same thing will happen when you open up the Tableau uh, Fox app that I built uh, or that you're going to build. So that's easy enough. I think the hardest part is actually making the icons because you spend a little time cutting and pasting everything. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, let me uh, put that copy of my URL right in there. So this is 
Fox on the Tableau, right? That's the link for the Fox on the Tableau. Okay, and then we're going to go to the GitHub. Let's see. Did I close it? Yes, I did. So uh, we're going to open it up again. Here's Kane's GitHub. Okay, so we're going to select this. Make sure you have the whole thing selected. And we're going to copy that. And we're going to put it right there so that we have it for reference uh, when we need it. Okay, so we take that and we hit paste. Okay, so you know about the GitHub. Uh, you know how the Tableau works over the internet on all these uh, channels that you can live stream on. A lot of times you visit a web page and they have some video automatically playing and it's a live stream. All you got to do is get the URL for it. Okay, uh, so let's close this out. And now we're all set and ready to go to build our app. So here we go. I'm going to go into uh, my Xcode. And what we're going to do is source control, check out, and down here we're going to put that GitHub link right there. And we're going to hit next, and it's going to tell you uh, where do you want to save it. So we're going to save it right on our desktop. It says one channel, so I have to erase the, um, the one that I already built. Uh, let me... Let me just open this, make sure I'm not throwing anything important out. Yeah, I'm going to rebuild it. So I, I'm going to chuck this one that I made. All right, now we're going to one channel, leave the name the way it is, and we're going to hit download. So now it's downloading right from GitHub all the stuff you need to open up in Xcode, okay? And you're saving it right on your desktop. So here's one own channel, and... It's saving all this. This is all the stuff that he gave you from uh, GitHub. Okay. So now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now we're going to uh, go over here. We're going to make sure our Apple TV is hooked up by USB. We're going to select that. Okay. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click here and we're going to make sure that we're signed in correctly. So here's my sign in right there. Now, here, what you have to do is you have to change the name of this bundle identifier and the reason is because when you build an app that's named after somebody who already built that app uh, you don't have ownership to that app so basically all you have to do is just change uh, some of the wording so let's change it here because then you're gonna have to fix permissions and all that other stuff so we'll go here and I'm gonna call this Tableau um, Fox okay I'll do caps Fox Okay, just like I had it before, Tableau Fox. And then here, it's going to be dot, so com dot Tableau Fox dot, and we're going to do, we'll leave channel, and we're going to do Tableau dash uh, Fox, okay? Okay, um, dot channel. Actually, I don't think it's dot channel. Okay, so here it is. This is what you got to write. So now, when you fix the issue, because before, if you would have just hit fix issue, you st still had the same error. So we're going to fix issue, and you're going to see that it's going to resolve it. It's going to see that you're signed in and that you're building your own name of your own app. So now I have no problems with my, uh, you know, the permission or whatever. So now the next step is, what do we want to do next? We want to go in and change that URL. So we're going to go in, uh, we'll open up some of this to show you what's in here. And we're going to go into, um, hold on, it's taking a second. We're going to go in, where the hell is it? Oh, here it is. All right, so we're going here to viewcontrol.swift. All right, and you're going to see this. He tells you to paste the URL between the uh, per, uh, you know parentheses to customize your channel. The default one is NASA TV. So if you wanted to make an app for NASA TV live stream, uh, you see it says .mu8, uh, m3u8. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take this and we're going to highlight it. 
right in between the parentheses and you can see we're gonna put our own now so we'll hit edit paste oh I'm sorry that's the github so let's go over here let's get my personal local uh, stream to Fox right here so we're gonna hit copy and we're gonna put the right thing in here this is the URL to the stream okay so we're gonna hit paste and I lost the parentheses so I'm gonna put that parentheses back okay so here it is we have now put the source right to the m3 u8 uh, that's on my tableau recording or tableau live actually i'm sorry it's not even a recording it's live uh so now we're set with that so what do we do so far we um named our we signed into our app we got the github we threw it in there uh we changed the url here so now basically if i built this right now i would build it and it would have his icon all right uh, and, but it will play Fox off my tableau. So what I want to do is now I want to go into this uh, magnifying glass search thing here. And I want to type in name. Okay. So we hit name and we hit uh, enter. So we click this to highlight this. And then we go to packaging and we change it to what we want to change it to. Uh, make sure you click it like that so that it opens up in a box here so we just go back and we type in uh, Tableau and I like to call it Fox Tableau Fox okay so there it is Tableau Fox that's fixed now uh, so what do we do we have the right name we have the eight uh, we have the right uh, URL and we have uh, the correct sign in and all that stuff so now let's go back to here and we're just going to check the re the header the resources so let me find that all right Come on. Uh, assets okay so here are the assets um we're going to open this up like that so that you can see you need a large a small top shelf and a launch okay so watch how easy this is now that I used GIMP and I made my own little packs. Let me see. Is that my pack? Yeah, these are my packs right here. So all I have to do is this. I have to take this large icon back, put it in back. See, because this is large icon up here. Then I'll take my large icon itself and I'll put it in the front here. Oop, just crashed. That's all right. That was strange. So we'll open it back up again. Okay. So back to it again. We'll hit large. All right. Then we'll do large icon. It's a little too large. Oh, I, that's because I'm under small. Maybe that's why. So let's go large. I'm sorry. Here it is. So that. Now we're going to go under small. So here's small. And let's use the small background. Small background. And a small icon. All right. It fixed it. So then we have the top shelf. Okay. Top shelf. And here's top shelf. I'm going to throw that in there. So there's my top shelf. And we're going to go launch. And we're going to find my launch. And we're going to chuck it in there. Boom. It's that simple. So we're done with that. Um, so what do we have left? Nothing. We just have to build it now. So let's build this app. And it's going to build. And let's show you the Apple TV. It's compiling it and it's going to notice that it has an app on here already by that name uh, so we might get an error but let's see what happens build failed all right so we find out why it failed so we're going to say main storyboard that's because we crashed ok 
Okay. Build again. Build successful. Boom. And there it is on the Apple TV. Check it out. It loads up like this. It shows that page there and it's loading up the channel. There it is. Um, I think they had something to do with me having the other app on it. So now look, a duplicate app uh, right there and it works. Click it, takes me right to channel five. This is obviously a commercial uh, on an HD channel, uh, so it doesn't come in, uh, you know, widescreen like that. So let me um, come out of this, and I'll show you my old build. Boom, and that's channel 25. Maybe I had the wrong channel, uh, but let's see. We'll go here, and we'll see if that live channel is the same. Uh, no, this is a different channel. Uh, I must have picked a different Fox channel, but anyway, you get the idea. You basically just have to change icons. You have to put a new URL in there. I'm going to stop with it. And we're going, you have to put your own little icons. You got to change the URL and you got to download that GitHub and make some edits to it. It can be simpler. I, I like to thank Kane2931 uh, on GitHub uh, for supplying this app for us. Uh, I'm going to. I'm not going to wait for the Tableau app to come out for Apple TV. I'm going to build a whole bunch of apps with some custom icons. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry this is more of like a freestyle video because I'm not a developer. Uh, but I guess after today, I developed an app uh, or I copied an app and, and developed it further or whatever, you know? So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.